the man on it. Check this out, everyone. Give you guys a sneak peek. I'm in the process of obviously doing this place up, man. But it's just, oh god, it's just a terrible mess, man. And it's kind of annoying me. It's really bothering me. I just want to get all of this tidied up, man, and everything set in its place. But with the lockdown and shit, man, it's just been crazy in it. So <clears throat> I hope you guys are doing well. Big shout out to all my subscribers. I hope you guys are healthy. I hope your family members are alright as well. Just look after each other, man. And it's a very tough time we're going through. Thank God in the UK, we've sort of eased the lockdown a little bit. So um, I haven't done anything since the last episode, man. It's just been left. Um, I've done a few things here and there, but really nothing, you know. So stay tuned. I will be doing another episode on this, like completely finishing off everything before the field test, you know. So um, stay tuned for that. I've got the unboxings, man, and they don't even ask. Right, so in today's video, I'll be unboxing this puppy here. This is the most amazing, most bombastic, most banging gift I've got in years, man. This was a birthday present for my kids and my partner. So big shout out to my kids and my partner. You guys are awesome. Thanks for my most amazing gift. Let's get into this, man. And let's um, unbox some happiness, man. I'm sure you guys know by the thumbnail already what it is, but let's unbox this puppy, man. In here. This is my first Bling crankcase engine, and I couldn't be more excited, man. Let's get in here. But, um, oh, man, you know what? It's just, oh, look at it, man, innit? It? It's just a mess, bro. Look at it. Oh, man, you know what? Let me put you guys down here. All right, so give me a second, everyone. And just like that, we're back. All right, this is much better, man. Check this out. At least we can focus now. <clears throat> Two items to unbox for you guys. We'll deal with this later, but this is a banging tool, man, innit? You guys already know this. I love my tools, man, innit? And this is a new RC tool that I'm gonna fall in love with, bro. Let me get it up the right way around so you guys can see what I'm showing you. But yeah, man, this is gonna be banging, all right? So that's the way it comes with some bits. We'll go through that in a bit. But before that, let's get to the main event, man, isn't it? The Piesta de Resistance, all right? You guys ready? Okay, cue the music. <laughs> I'm only joking, man. <laughs> Just horsing around everyone, but check this out, man. In it, oh man, <laughs> look at this. Oh, yes. Can I just say something before I move on? This is from 30 Degree North, all right? Their packaging is impeccable, man. In it. Check this out. Look how they packed it in, very well packaged. Let me just show you guys. Look. I got this enclosed center diff housing from 30 degree north and it was exactly packed the same way as this bombastic engine bro. You know what I'm saying? Their packaging is impeccable. So thumbs up 30 degree north man and you guys do a banging job packing your stuff. Alright, swiftly moving on. Oh man, check this crankcase out. Oh, oh man. That is banging bro. I get it now, you know? When people get excited about crankcases and stuff, I get it, man, innit? This looks banging, bro. Look at it. Oh, man. I'm sorry about the lighting, man. This lighting doesn't do any justice. All right, let me take you guys out. Yeah. Check this out. Shiny, bro. <laughs> oh, look at this, man. This clutch looks banging, man. It's got like golden bits on it. Can you guys see? Like little flakes in it. My Roven 45 had a, um, it had like silver bits on it, man. It? But check this out though, man. Oh, wow. This looks amazing, man. Yeah, as I was saying, this is the version two. I was gonna get the version one, but I got the Roven 45 instead. However, my kids and my partner, they made this happen, man, innit? it? This is banging, bro. I like this pull starter, man. It's closed fin pull starter. This looks amazing, man. Like I said, this clutch looks all right, man. Not bad, you know? It's got some nice little golden specks in it. I don't know, it might be copper or something. Or brass in there, who knows? But clutch looks nice, man. Comes with the 8,000 spring. 
All right, as I was saying, this is the version two. They have refined a few things on it since the version one. But the main modifications they've done is on the transfer port. In the version one, it was an open transfer port, so you can get in there, you know, do a bit of milling, modifications, etc., etc. But in the version two, they've completely closed it off. So th there can be a few reasons for that, but the main one I can think about is it's cost, man, isn't it? It's gonna save them a bit of money. Open transfer port is just more extra work, more hardware, more things to do, you know. So I hope this is a better version but I'm not gonna know until I've tried the v version 1 but I don't have the version 1 head you know so I might have to get the V1 head and try it out on here man and see which one works best if the V1 works better I'll replace this man I'll replace this head and I can use this head on something else that's the one modification they done alright so the second modification they've done I don't know if you guys can see let me get a bloody torch check this out the second modification they've done is a ceramic coated piston bro don't mess about so once again shout out to 30 degree north they're actually doing stuff that people want man you know what i'm saying so i really appreciate when a manufacturer actually goes out of their way to like give you options big thumbs up man 30 degree north so that's that's basically it that's that's only modifications they've done on this version 2 closed transfer port ceramic coated piston and they've done new intake manifold all right so this is a brand new intake manifold let's take this off man what the hell what is this looks like a bit of rust man bloody hell trust me man i know something about humidity all right when i was a little kid i was in prison mate in india so i know about humidity bro all right so this is just it's come from china so obviously it's really humid out there so someone just probably touched this while they were putting it on and that's what happens man metal just rusts out there anyway let's take this plastic off together all right cue the music <laughs> take this off quickly so I can show you guys I will be putting this back on oh wow check this out this is awesome bro yeah check this out you see it's perfect port matched man isn't it that's awesome bro check this out there's hardly any mismatch there look at it that's awesome man that is banging oh wow i'm really impressed with that man isn't it that's an awesome job they've done the only problem is i don't know if you guys can see the piston is supposed to be at bottom dead center but look where it is it's a fucking top dead center man what the hell oh come on now people so i don't know how much or if any damage has been done but as you can see the piston is all the way up in there bro all the way up in there not liking that but we'll sort that out in a minute man what's this yeah check this out this is banging bro i'm liking this look can you see it's got 30 degree north embossed on there man this is nice bro i'm liking that man attention to detail like check check the gaps out there's hardly any gaps there's no gaps in the plastics man this looks amazing bro very happy with the intake manifold port matched i won't have to change this bro i can just run this do you know what i'm saying so that's awesome but look at this crankcase man i can't stop touching it bro this is banging oh man she looks amazing bro i'm really really happy it comes with a ngk spark plug all right um i don't know man this why it feels a little bit thin compared to the Roven 45 you know the Roven 45 is got really yeah let me show you there you see the Roven 45 spark plug wire is like it's thick bro you can feel it there's a thick wire in here you know but on the other hand the 30 degree north feels a little bit 
slimmer. Yeah, I think it should be okay, man. In it, I'll let you guys know in it if I run into any problems. But I like this um, rubber cap. Looks alright, man. It's a little bit different than the Rogan 45, but overall, man, this looks nice, man. I'm liking it, especially the pull starter. The pull starter, man, it's it's just a different design, bro. All the fins are closed. Do you know what I'm saying? So you could probably run this without an outerwear, but nah, man. I'll be definitely running out of wear on this. I don't know but yeah man i'm very pleased with the pull starter i think it's a yep all right so this feels like a conventional pull starter what i'm used to basically all right i've been i don't know if you guys have seen my previous video i've been having some problem with my rogan 45 let me show you here I've been having some problem with this um, pull starter. Not this particular pull starter. I've got a Roven one there as well, a billet Roven pull starter. So um, I've been having some problems with that, but I think I figured it out, man. I think it's just the spacing between this and the cog on the flywheel. I think that's what's the spacing is screwing it up. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna fix that in the next episode. Let's talk about this man a bit more. All right, oh, look at this, bro. <laughs> look at th <laughs> this. Looks like a joke, bro. This is so tiny compared to like this one. Here, look. You can see the size difference. <laughs> this just looks funny, man. Look at this. This is like a proper pool starter, man, in it. But this just looks funny, man. But it's cute, though, man. I like it. It's kind of like a little. It almost doesn't feel real, it feels like a toy or something. I like it, bruv. It could be a positive and a negative. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you, this is like a two finger job, man, isn't it? You know, it's a two finger job, but this is like you can proper grab onto it, you know. So, on the other hand, this is gonna be lighter. Do you know what I'm saying? So, options, man, flavor of life, and all of that, you know. So, I don't know, if I don't like this, I can always change it up to this pool starter. I'll see. All right, so that's 30 degree north, 38 cc blink crankcase engine, bro. I'm very, very pleased with that. I need to get a thingy, man. A clutch belt holder so I can stand it up. All right, give me a second. Let me go find it. I think it's in the house. All right, before I do that, this is what comes in the kit well it's not a kit but this is what just comes man in it with the you get 1191 carb where is it here you go that's 1191 carb i don't have a problem with these carburetors man it's a wall carburetor um the one on my roven 45 has been working perfectly fine there's no leaks so yeah man i think this is gonna be fine just fine and I can always try a different carburetors in the future, man. And it's a minor. All right. So that's the carburetor you get, which is not a bad carburetor, man. This is this is nice. It's better than just having an off-brand one. Do you know what I'm saying? At least this is wall, bro. All right. So that's the carburetor you get, and you get a banging. Check this out. You get a Taflon gasket for your carburetor. So this is much appreciated, man. You don't get this, bro. You normally get the paper ones, the crappy ones. But check this out. Here we go perfectly lined up man you see get that perfectly lined up you shouldn't have any problems man yeah so this is really appreciated again thumbs up 30 degree north obviously you get the bolts with it as well and you get a velocity stack gasket as well so that's that that's it man that's all you get you don't get an air filter or anything it's just the engine there's no pipe as well but actually i didn't go for the pipe they do do a pipe for this it's specifically made for the engine um but i'm not really sure man if i should get it because there's other pipes i want to get you know what I'm saying? so i don't know i'll think about it you guys know man i love pipes all right stay tuned i've got a pipe unboxing coming up so i'm gonna go over some pipes that i'm gonna mess around with in the future so you guys can have a closer look at what i'm doing all right for now i'm gonna leave the pipe for this engine and hopefully in the future when i start running it I'll make a choice, man, in it and see what I want to do and what I want to run. But until then, let's move on. This is a electric and manual screwdriver from Goalie. 
it's a USB charge rechargeable so you don't have to worry about it man doesn't matter where you are in which country you're gonna be able to charge this puppy up and use it on the field as well this is gonna be banging on the field bro you know what I'm saying when you just gotta do a quick repair it's gonna be amazing let's get this out and I can go over it a bit more it comes with a um, 3.6 volt 900 milliamp hour battery so that's awesome there's your charger I'll just take this off conventional charger man in it so you don't have to worry about you know what I'm saying if you've got an Android or something you'll be able to charge it up you know there's enough of these it's a micro USB so there's enough of these flying about bro. so that's amazing that's really really handy all right you get a little operators manual how to charge it up blah 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 but definitely go through this but it should be pretty simple man you know right so it comes with a bit combination bit I should say the Phillips and the flathead. What is this? It's PH2 S2, so it's steel, bro. It's um, hardened steel. Basically, what my hex heads are made out of. So um, yeah, man. Just be careful. Don't do like serious heavy work with this kind of stuff. You know, it will strip. All right, let's get to the main event. Oh wow, this looks awesome, man. This is really. Oh wow, I didn't know. It's got a soft grip, everyone. Oh wow. That's comfortable, man. Oh, that's awesome, bro. Check this out. Oh, man. This is sick. Shall we? Oh, there's battery. <laughs> oh, man. This is awesome, bro. All right. So you got a nice little locking chuck. So, yeah, man. Not bad. Oh, wow. This is awesome, man. This is sick, bro. I'm liking this. Let me get one of my thingy bits. One of my bits too. Oh man, this is perfect. Check this out, people. This is one of my shorty bits. It's all nicely locked in. Check this out. Oh man. This is gonna be awesome, bruv. Let me just go over some specs with you guys, alright? So this comes with a non-slip rubber grip. Alright, it's like a soft grip. So that's banging. You've got a micro USB charging port, which is right there. That's which is really handy, man. Isn't it? That's amazing. You get obviously a, a charging light, or when it's in use, you get a work light. I like the name as well, bruv. Goalie. <laughs> Ain't gonna let anything get by. <laughs> oh, joke. But yeah, man, this is amazing, man. This is gonna be, I can already tell, man, in it, this is gonna be one of my favorite tools. Oh, man, this is like, I like this, bro. Like, even like doing it manual, it's gonna be sick. You know what? Let's try this out, man. Let's try this out. I got this a while back, you know, just to have, you know, spare. I just wanted it, and it was a banging price. I got this from, um, where did I get it? AliExpress, yeah, I got this from AliExpress. It was like on sale or something, man. So I thought, wow, oh, I'll have that. So this is what I'm going to be using. I don't have a part number for it, but what I'll do, I'll leave links in the description for all of this stuff. So if anybody's interested, um, you can go ahead and check it out, man. And I have reached out to the seller and see if I could get you guys a coupon code. I will update you guys on that. I haven't got anything as of yet, but I'll let you guys know in the next video or update video or um, I'll just let you guys know man if, if, the, if the seller like hooks me up with a coupon code for you guys so I'll let you guys know about that there you go so this is what comes in the packet you get this amazing banging bruv look look at all the like drilled out holes for cooling that looks amazing bruv that looks banging and it's finned as well look a lot of work that's gone into this man in it i really appreciate like precision engineering man in it. it's one of my favorite things you know and it's a split clutch as well so you can take this bottom half off sick bro that's amazing so that should make like removing your engine a bit more easier i'm, I'm all up for that man in it all right let's put this on and we can, and we can try out this banging tool as well I already know man, I can, I've got a feeling this is going to be amazing, that's all I can say. Alright, um, let me just go over this quickly. I have to say, I'm really shocked that my kids actually picked this stuff out for me. 
Well, obviously they consult with me, man. I don't do that stuff in my house, innit? We don't buy pointless, useless gifts for each other, you know? We talk about it and we make an informed decision, man, innit? That's what I'm trying to teach my kids. That don't just buy crap that you don't need, right? Buy something that you actually need and want. I just got this one, innit? It's just some bits and it's got one of these extenders. Let me show you guys. Yeah. See, it's just a normal, man. Quarter inch box standard but this will help you like quick change in it so quick change and it will give you a little bit of length as well yeah, let me show you see that okay pop this guy in lock it in and there you go now you got your quick change awesome yeah man this is i'm liking this man in it already like and if you've got the ddm bits let me show you oh man check out the reach on that eh <laughs> oh my days it's almost long as my bloody arm look from my finger to yeah man this is massive it's like the size of my forearm look all the way up to my elbow so yeah if you want reach people this is what you need check this out and it's semi-automatic <laughs> Sorry, man, I'm just screwing around. And they give you some smaller bits as well. I think it's for like mobiles and stuff, man. I don't know. If I need it, I'll use it. But I don't think, oh, okay. So this is basically, it turns these miniature ones into this quarter inch bit. All right, so that's how that goes. All right. Not bad, man, isn't it? And it was very reasonable. I'm not gonna lie, this was very, very reasonable. All right, so let's get this um, clutch belt housing on. comes with hardware oh wow look at it that does look nice man I'm not gonna lie that looks awesome bro That is sick bro, I'm not gonna lie, that is sick. Oh, wow, I'm liking the clutch action. Oh wow. See that? That was the clutch. Oh man, this is perfect, bro. Oh, sick. Now you don't have to worry. Like, I do have, like, that big one over there, but you gotta manually set that torque. Do you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you forget and you press it and shit fucks up, man, innit? So this is gonna be amazing, man. This is gonna be banging. This is gonna help me not strip out, innit? And give myself a bloody headache. Yeah, man, I'm liking this already. And check this out. You can do some manual action as well, just to finish them off. Oh man, this is sick. Nice. Nice. Now it looks more like a complete engine, man. Oh, bling, bling, bro. Shit. Damn, that looks nice. That looks amazing, man. There are many claims on this engine like not directly from 30 degree north all right the only thing they're claiming is obviously it's got a ceramic coated piston and it revs up to 19,000 rpms all right that's their claim that's all i could find on the 30 degree north website many sellers on aliexpress are claiming like all right don't quote me on this everyone all right i'm just relaying a message so what they're claiming is this can reach up to nine horsepower now the magic word in that sentence is can Right, so I don't know how it can do that. Do you understand? 
all I'm saying is that's what people are claiming so maybe there is a possibility but we will find out right we're, we're gonna have some fun with this engine all right we're gonna see what this engine can do, do you know what I'm saying let's let's give it a chance you know I haven't seen many of these engines about you know I haven't seen much on YouTube so I'm hoping I can provide you guys with some good results. We shall see man, innit? Let's give it a chance and see what happens. If it doesn't work out, hell, we just move on man, do something else. Anyway, so let's get back here. Let's take this um, pull starter off and see what's inside. All right, in it goes. Let's see how well it takes off screws. See, that's the clutch kicking in. But obviously we can go in manual oh wow oh, i'm liking this man i'm i'm already liking this oh man this is can you imagine in the field when you need to do a repair and you can just quickly go and do this oh man this is going to be something else i'm telling you oh yeah. How easy was that? That was just like, oh man. Okay, so yep, yeah, see? Like I told you guys, you see? It's a very traditional pull star. You see, it pops out, goes back into its housing. Oh yeah, man. I have not pulled this, all right? And as you can see, look, check out all the fins. Can you see? They're all closed fin, nicely slotted. This is banging man, I'm liking this, I'm already liking this. I might change the innards to like an aluminium one, but it looks alright man, this looks like proper tough nylon material, so who knows man, this might work out perfect, I might not have to change it at all, but if I do, I can always change this out man, innit? that's a minor, but I'm really liking this. Alright, so we have a traditional flywheel, as you guys can see. So yeah man, I've got options now innit? I can have so many different types of pull starters. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Okay, so let's put everything back together. Just so I don't lose anything man innit? I've already got so look. You see? It's just mess everywhere man innit? I, I can't be having that innit? Let me not lose anything. I don't want to lose screws and stuff. That's just uh, that's just a pain in the balls man innit? When you can't find hardware. And you gotta hunt for it. I hate that. This is working. This is working like a treat, bro. Like a charm. I'm liking this. Check this out. Oh man, that's perfect. You see how the clutch kicks in? Just like that. Check this out. Oh, perfect. I'm already in love with this. This is a bombastic tool, man. I'll let you guys know how it works out, man. Innit? That's all I can say. All right, give me some time, give me a couple of weeks, and I'll give you guys an update on how this works out. But as of now, I'm very impressed, man. Innit? I'm very, very impressed. I'm really happy with the soft grip. That's just perfect, man. Just gives you that comfort, innit? But one thing about soft grip, I will say, they get dirty, bro, very quick. You know what I'm saying? So expect this to go black very soon because I'm going to be using this quite a bit. With all of that done, let's take care of this baby. Oh, it's okay, baby. We're going to take care of you. All right, so let's put some three in one in here. Let's put the piston to bottom dead center and then we can relax basically. So let me get the heat gun out. Let me heat this cylinder up before I move anything down. And I'm gonna put some three in one in here. Oh, actually I don't need to do three in one. I got my own mix, remember? Hang on one sec. Here we are. I don't have to do three in one, man. I can do my own mix. <laughs> All right, so this is inspired by Botajo. Thumbs up, brother. My true brat brother. All right, he inspired me. He was like, look, man, make your own mixes experiment and see where it goes do you know what i'm saying now me doing this all right doesn't mean that if i put this oil in here and this engine blows up i can hold him liable all right it doesn't work like that people man some people man in it i don't understand what the hell is wrong with people just because somebody wants to inspire you then you hold them responsible for your fuck ups come on man 
spare me in it. All right, let's do this. I love that smell, bro. When you're heating up an engine, the smell it gives off, oh, I love that, man. It's banging. This heat gun I've had for about, I don't know, two, three years now, man. And it's been working flawlessly, as you can see. I've burned quite a bit of shit. But this has been working perfectly fine, man. And it hasn't let me down once. Obviously, it's from Marksman. So I'm very impressed with this, man. Again, I'll leave a link for this in the description. eBay, man. Can't be it. All right, so we're exactly at 200 degrees. This is perfect, man. Let's get some oil in her. Give it a good shake. Yes. it's hot let me get some oil in the crankcase perfect okay so at least we know there's some um, oil in the crankcase at the top it's just getting saturated right now man perfect so we can move this bloody piston down right. let's do the same with the exhaust port looks like some of it's come out already all right let that go in okay everyone let's get this piston to bottom dead center I don't know if you guys can see try to shine a light there we go I see that look all of that AMS oil man just soaking and saturating in looks banging all right so there you go everyone see that bottom dead center perfect that's what I wanted so there she is everyone looking all sweet looking yummy bro she's all nicely looped up bottom dead center cool enough all right so the next job with this engine is for is to do the braking but i'm not going to be putting this in my low c5 and breaking it in man. that's just out of question when you're a newbie and you do your first build trust me you learn a lot of things in it and i know for a certain fact that braking in engines is much easier on a stand do you understand it's out of the car it's not going to run away it's much much easier to like handle you know what I'm saying? So I will be making a braking stand for this beautiful, sexy beast. But I'm definitely gonna need an outerwear for this man, innit? These holes are kinda big, like, you know what I'm saying? It's a shame I'm gonna have to cover this up, you know? But I don't know, man, I'll see. I might make my own outerwear just so I can see some of this crankcase bruv now and again. Yeah, so stay tuned for the one fifth scale braking stand build that will be coming soon. Just give me a bit of time everyone in here i'm just really behind you know i'm new at this um i'm not especially an expert on editing so it takes me a while man in it to upload a video you know just to get everything right take out most of the swear words and stuff i swear quite a bit man in it it's it's a curse man you know what can i say i hope you guys enjoyed the video i certainly enjoyed making it this is i think the first video you guys have seen from the cave so i'm extremely proud with all of that said, I want to give a big shout out to all my subscribers. You guys are awesome, man, and you guys are sick. Look after yourself, look after your family. If you have any questions or any advice for me, please leave them in the comments. 
So once again, everybody, thank you very much for watching. And I'll speak to you guys next time. Take care.